Hello everybody, this is Tim from Boat Judge Rock Brokers and I'm welcoming you on board with pleasure today on board this Dynacraft 51 for a look around her interior to really give you a great idea of what a lovely space this boat represents and to give you an idea of what life on board a boat afloat could actually be like. It really is a beautiful place to be. So let's have a look around in detail. So here we are, we're on the after deck and we're looking towards the back of the boat where I'll show you in a moment. But in this area, you can see just what a whopping great big space we've got here. We've got lovely teak flooring. We've got a lovely bench table, etc. Lovely great big windows with Venetian blinds so we can let all that light and air flood in if we like, or we can give ourselves a little bit of privacy. Uh, down to the left-hand side here on the port side, that door leads out to the port side deck and these steps and the companionway lead up to the flybridge where I will take you very shortly. But uh, just take a look uh, around this compartment. You can see we've got a lovely high deck head here as well. So plenty of head, fight, head height for the taller people. And if I just look around to the starboard side here, very much a mirror in this sort of uh, in this part of her, we've got the, the doorway leading out to the starboard side deck and the lovely great big side windows again there. So really, really lovely to look at and great views over the marina. Towards the front of the compartment, you can see that we've got a nice uh, uh, sink arrangement or bar sink and uh, bar area, etc. with cupboards. All over the boat, we have stereo speakers. We've got uh, recessed lighting. We've got all sorts of beautiful uh, little accessories everywhere. And you can see that there is a, a, a theme to this boat, which I won't go into at the moment, but uh, you'll get a, a good idea as we go around. There's the companion way. So a lovely, nice and easily sliding French windows that go down to the, uh, the main saloon where I'll take you in a moment. But uh, generally speaking, a very, very nice area. So I'll just walk around to the port side here and we can see we have a doorway out here, very nice and easy to the port side deck so that will walk down the side of the boat to the uh, to the fore deck and there's just lots and lots of room to do whatever you'd like to do in here i think it would make a fantastic place for a meal or entertaining or maybe even a party on board etc not in the least complemented by this part of the boat, which is right at the very back. So you can see we've got the davits outside, uh, which just down here, which uh, could hold a dinghy. And uh, we've got a nice cockpit tent here, which goes all the way around. So that gives us a nice enclosed area. So more storage, more warmth or more, more cool in the summer. Uh, we have a, a companion way here down to the uh, to the swim platform at the back of the boat so we can get down there for watery fun and frolics if you like and you can see again here we've got nice teak decking we have storage we have seating we have nice high ceilings we've got stereo speakers inset there which you may or may not be able to hear i'll just turn the music down there are the covers there for the flybridge there which has just been placed there temporarily and if i just withdraw slightly you can see here again we've got nice sliding french windows so we can close this area off completely to that area, keep the uh, drafts out, etc. close the curtains and we've got a really, really lovely, cosy space. How nice is that? We'll just go around to the starboard side of the compartment. Uh, we've already had a quick look, but there's a the window, the view's out. There's the door, really lovely and easy to get to. It's, cut, it's held back at the moment, but lovely and easy to uh, get on and off this boat and uh, to take a walk down the side deck there. Really lovely space. So we'll leave this area for now. We'll pop up to the flybridge and take a look around and see what we've got up there. So nice, easy steps, not too steep at all. And once we're out here, there may be a little bit of wind noise, which I'll apologize for in advance, but beautiful sunny day to look at flybridges. And as you can see, we have got a very nice flybridge. We're really up high, so the view across the marina is uh, really, really lovely. And if you're out at sea, then you'll be able to, to uh, you'll, you'll get a better viewpoint for navigating, but you'll also have a, a great view. We have seating to port, we have seating stern, seating to starboard as well, and the flybridge seating here as well. If I just take a quick look aft over the top of the boat, you can see the top of the coach roof there. So, um, you know, that's uh, got potential for uh, solar panels, etc., etc. Uh, whatever you'd like to do up there. We have a radar arch above with various things in set, such as search lights or deck lights, uh, nav lights and radar and various antennae, etc. up there. And uh, generally, there's a room to do a few bits and pieces up there to be confirmed whether you could walk up there i suspect you probably can because we have guardrails around but there may be cosmetics so we need to just check that out there's a companion way i just came up really nice and easy to get up we have a door so we can close the inside to the outside elements if we want but still let light through and we can pull this cover forward so it's all enclosed and uh, if the weather's uh, bad out here it won't be bad down there and we do have a massive cover a really recent one that goes over the entire flybridge to protect it 
it uh, during the winter or in inclement weather or if you just feel like you're not going to be using your flybridge for long so really lovely that's how it looks so good very nice upholstery uh, we've got nice teak decking up here with some wear again like the main deck but uh, I think uh, I don't think there's anything that needs to be done to that immediately to be confirmed we have storage underneath some of the seating this seating flips back to give you a nice table as well so it's really been thought about we have cupboards in the forward fascia here and you can see where we basically steer and uh, operate the boat from so we've got the helm let's get a little bit closer we've got wheel steering up here and down below we've got the throttle controls up here down below port engine controls so we've got the uh, engine hour counter batteries taco uh, trim tab indication engine oil pressure engine oil uh, water temperature and i think that's uh, oil pressure there as well or that one one of those is i'm not sure we've got two pressure gauges there we'll we'll work that out don't worry and uh, pretty much a mirror on the starboard side there and uh, we've got the bow thruster controls there and one or two other bits and pieces your autopilot winch windlass control etc etc so all the bits and pieces you'd probably need to navigate safely at sea with a compass nestling underneath there as well and if we just look up over the screen you can see so we've got a nice screen here to protect us from the worst of the spray the weather etc we can see down onto the uh, coach roof we've got uh, a great view of the bow there and the uh, the anchor so we can see if the anchor's moving if we've let go we can also see when it's home and we can talk to people as they're helping us to uh, to berth the boat and uh, as we're just maneuvering in etc etc great space plenty of room down there for cushions as well etc so if you want to sit in the sun we can do so all in all lovely great big flybridge as well and a uh, nice place to be incidentally just here uh, these are windows which will allow uh, it goes all the way behind this these seats here to allow light down below into this area where we were before and if you want to enable some more light down here then we can just take away this uh, decorative unit here and put it away and we've got more light coming in here so really really wonderful wonderful space very impressed so just as impressive if not more let's have a look down below we go through the uh, companionway door here which is really lovely and easy to open very nice indeed very easy to get down we've got a handrail to help us down and up and uh, we've got a hand here to help us down if you want and then once we get down here just take a look at the view in here what a fabulous place much much work has taken place in here carpets cleaning upholstery equipment decor etc she really is a transformed boat and uh, her owner uh, all credit to her um, has done uh, a really really lovely job but let's take a, a look in closer detail shall we so uh, again here we've got uh, a handhold here so i can get down we've got something to hold on to here so i can get down if you're at sea and i'll just turn around and look at the companion way that we've just come through so really really nice and easy and uh, unlike most companion ways, it's even attractive. So very easy, very well thought out. And we do have drawers inset into almost into three of the four steps there as well. So storage has been well thought out on this boat. Now, looking around the main saloon, you can see on the starboard side, what a beautiful place this is. We've got a huge U-shaped uh, sofa. We've got tables. We've got carpets. So we've got uh, um, really, she's really, really accessorized on this boat. And you'll notice in various places here and like here as well, all sorts of little lockers with uh, some may have controls in some may be just storage just placed there for uh, for ease of use and for convenience etc etc i didn't notice the handle up here as well so there's another handle here to help you down as you come in lovely job loads and loads of space in here uh, well over six foot headroom in this in the main kind of area it does vary slightly as you go around but plenty of room even for the tall people i think and you've got huge great big windows so look at the view over the marina we're taller than just about everybody else we've got blinds for uh for for privacy if we want we've got speak uh, stereo speakers everywhere we've got lights all over the place and it just looks really really lovely and comfortable and as we go around we can see the theme goes around the saloon to the port side here we've got lovely wooden cupboards we've got the the lovely stereo speaker that puts sound all all over the place nice long shelf here lot with the tv on it at the moment uh, we've got a saloon table in the middle just a lovely place to relax and again look at the view out of the windows imagine if you're at sea here we can see the harbour wall we can see all the boats going to and from the boatyard etc really feel like that we're part of the marine environment but out at sea you just see the sea or maybe the beach if you're at anchor etc etc very very nice indeed
I like this space. We have uh, on the starboard side here a nice big shelf here, which uh, which helps us to uh, as part of the galley construction, which we'll see uh, shortly. Lovely great big windows forwards, and combined with the lovely big sideways windows, that means we've got great visibility at sea, forwards and sideways. Not so great out of the back, but uh, hopefully we'd have somebody looking out of the back regularly for us. And on the port side here, we've got the helm or the lower helm. So we've got lovely twin, very nice upholstery seats. Look really, really nice and comfortable for um, for a couple or friends or whoever's uh, driving this boat for the for the helm and his or her mate to sit there and enjoy the forward view. Absolutely lovely. Starting from the bottom and working up, you've got the uh, electrics panel here. We have, I've not looked in here yet. There we go. We've got a small uh, chart compartment there, I, I would assess. Uh, we've got uh, navigation instruments. So uh, uh, we've got a logic unit there. We've got a Raymarine unit. We've got more electric uh, controls here. And then we've got the helm steering just down here along with the downstairs or down below throttles and we've got the communications phone there which I'm told work which is really really unusual on a boat of this age so that's really good fun for the kids apparently. Uh, down here we've got another compass or the main compass we've also got a replication of all of the controls upstairs I believe to be confirmed plus a few others like the uh, fuel tank contents indicator engine start stop etc etc but again everything you need down here to drive the boat round in relative safety so that's really good. Plenty of room up here We've just got a couple of dehumidifiers in here taking up the space. Dehumidifiers, if you see those on a boat, I say always a sign of, of really caring only for their boat because it means they're looking after their boat constantly. So I like to see that. But all in all, looks like a lovely, comfortable space to drive from for long periods of time if you're at sea or uh, if you're just um, zipping between destinations. Really lovely. So if you move forwards then, looking down, we can see we have a companionway. So one, two, three steps down. This companionway lifts, I'll just show you, to give us access to the engine room. So it's a one, one hand lift and there's the, the forward access to the engine room. That uh, little lid just pulls forward and away and in you go. And we've got uh, greater access to the engines if we require to do work on them, if we just lift the carpet, there are hatches within the floor there to uh, have a look. Down here, we've got lovely wooden floors. You can see we've got access down to the bilge. We've got access to storage underneath there, which is great. Woodwork looks nice, feels great. And uh, this is uh, probably one of the best, well, if not the best galley I've seen on a boat. Uh, in Brighton Marina. It's all relatively new um, at great expense, I have to say, all being completely refitted. The old one was ripped out, taken away, and this has all been fitted. So really solid, lovely worktop. We have a dishwasher here. We've got cupboards. We've got a vent extractor here, which pulls out and starts up. Uh, we've got a two burner. I think that's a halogen. That's an induction hob there. So um, perfect for cooking on obviously the uh the white surface continues all the way around here we've got a lovely sink we've got a nice window that opens there as well and a draining board so everything that we'd need for a boat like this loads of loads of drawers and uh, we've got a nice fridge unit in here we've got a cooker which is also an air fry unit i'm told more cupboards shelf etc and if i just uh, step back you can see what a lovely, great, big, and I have to say, stylish galley that we've got here. So no compromises there, bigger than a lot of uh, small houses or flats would have in uh, in their kitchen, I guess. Yes, very nice indeed. So let's turn around and look to the port side here. So you can see, uh, you may notice around as we go around the boat, we've got uh, hot water radiators all over the place. So this boat, trust me, I'm on board now. It's really cold outside. It's about four degrees and it's lovely and warm in here. I'm in a t-shirt and I can prove that just by showing you. There we go. You didn't need to see that. Anyway, here we go into the port cabin. Guest cabin, here we go. So we've got a, a smaller cabin here with two single berths in, but how lovely is that? So we've got a slightly lower head uh, deck head here. That's because above there is the helm position, but look at that, really cosy. And I'm told the kids really love it in there. So you get in there, get it all snuggled up. We've got nice carpet in here. We've got nice, uh, nice drawers. And look how we've accessorized as well. We've got an opening window. We've got a hatch above. We've got cupboards above. And we've got another berth here, uh, which looks like the berth slightly higher and the headroom slightly higher too. So you might want to put an older or taller charge in there. But uh, I'm sure when they're getting there or guests getting there, we close the door and they're just going to have real fun and really enjoy themselves in there. And if I can just turn around here, you can see we've got uh, the comms unit and we have a telly in there too. So all the bits and pieces that we think guests might uh, really enjoy and uh, have fun with so yeah very nice little space so let's close the door there 
and move forward. So now we've got to step down and we've got more bilge access there. Let's open this door, see what we have. Hopefully we'll find the forward heads compartment. So this is the, the uh, this could be a day head, but it could also be the master suite to the, uh, to the main forward cabin. So there we go. We've got uh, the feature sink. Now I'm told that this has been uh, bespoke made and uh, I believe it's actually good I haven't seen anything like this on board a boat around here we've got the nice tap I think they're called cascade taps all the feet all the, the accessorizing etc really just looks like a really nice space we've got a shelf at the back we've got the nice lighting we have a hatch above if we want to open up hopefully and uh, the, the head is electric the head uh, in this compartment is forward facing so there we go we have a nice uh, um radiator behind it's a little bit dark in here for my camera but i hopefully you get the idea and we have a lid there should we want it to if we want to just sit down on the toilet for some reason but uh, i've uh, left the main lights on in here i think just to give us an idea of what the mood lighting looks like and it is pretty nice let's open the door to the shower so we've got a proper shower compartment here in here lots of room somewhere to sit down somewhere to stand and as you can see i think they call this the rainfall kind or the raindrop kind of shower we've got uh, led lighting in there look we've got uh, a view of the water through there so we can open that up if we like and let the uh, the air in or the moisture out but uh, really nice area for a proper shower all the water should stay in here and it should be nice and easy to keep clean which is absolutely lovely so let's close the door on that very nice indeed we'll close to the door to the head reverse out slightly and look into this cabin now just look at that i'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it what a wonderful space we've got mood lighting we've got a proper nice island bed so no scrambling over your partner to get into the bed big double there's i'm pretty sure there'll be storage underneath we have a step up either side to get into it and uh, once you're in uh, what a lovely lovely space great headroom in here still uh, plenty of room for the taller people on the right hand side here if i just turn around although we've got lots of uh, storage going on here there is a, a little uh a uh, dressing table there with drawers there's a big mirror behind as well and a seat below and uh, forward of that we've got a nice wardrobe unit lots of drawers under here and uh, cupboards and a nice big shelf at the uh, on top for bits and pieces windows port and starboard and a hatch over the bed just gives us that extra ventilation that we might need as well uh, the woodwork all looks nice it's all kind of bespoke and fitted to this boat i think it really really is a very nice place to be here we go to the port side which is uh, probably symmetrical to starboard but uh, again we've got drawers we've got cupboards and another window and a really nice work surface very nice space indeed and there we go imagine yourself spending some time there so let's uh, leave this very special cabin and uh, point this way and we're looking aft towards the back of the boat through the saloon so we'll go through this uh, passageway back through the galley past the cabin and up the companionway steps through the saloon and well, let's explore the stern of the boat the after part of the accommodation so again we're passing through the saloon loads more cupboards here more shelving etc very nice and easy to get down we have the handhold to help us down here we've got fiddled shelves to hold on to down here nice and easy to get down and if i just get to the bottom and turn around to give you a look at the steps there we go nice and easy typical boat steps typical companionway steps and if i just open this door here you can see surprise surprise we have a nice washer dryer we don't see those on many boats in brighton so it's a pleasure to see saves that trek to the laundrette so very nice indeed all plumbed in and uh, wearing burning and turning and ready to go and if i just open this door here we have another head so there we go more of a compact compartment we have the toilet there which is uh starboard facing we have cupboards behind we have an opening window above as well and uh, we've got the hot water uh, radiator and the lovely sink again with a nice tap there too so any, everything that you need to do in here not a shower compartment just a heads compartment but uh, does what it says on the tin and uh, as uh, with the rest of this boat really nicely accessorized just walking around this part of the boat you can see uh slightly different i think this may be i'm not sure if this is molding or wallpaper i would have to check i think it might be molding uh we've got uh, different shades around we've got more accessories etc very nice place to be and we have a corridor here with a nice gray painted floor now I think uh, the bare painted floor 
actually really suits it down here. You may opt to carpet it out, but uh, the current owner has decided on this uh, this grey paint, which complements the walls. It is really nice, but uh, dead easy to change if you wanted to. And that continues into this uh, cabin here. So this is uh, cabin three of four that we'll have been looking at. Now, looks a little bit congested in here. The current owner has opted to use this as uh, a walk-in wardrobe, effectively. And you can see it does work really well for that. But if you look down, you can see we have a bed here and we also have a bed above that. So we've got bunk beds in here, plenty of room to uh, get changed, etc. We've got storage in these wardrobes here and uh, we've got a, a, a vanity unit with uh, nice mirrors all, all the way around there, plus windows above. So another nice compartment and uh, lots of uh, light and brightness in there too, which is great. So we pass that and turn aft and here we go. Piesta de resistance. Let me just pause here and uh, let you contemplate spending a little bit of time in this bedroom, otherwise known as an aft cabin on this boat. Really lovely. Proper double bed and a genuine all the way around uh, island bed. So definitely no climbing over anybody. Really nice and easy to get in. Lighting's fabulous. Flooring looks good. Woodwork looks amazing. We've had work done at the uh, after uh, bulkhead here, here in and out of the cabins and uh, uh, in and out of the, the uh, cupboard sorry and I think you'll agree looks absolutely fabulous it's the best I've seen on a boat in uh, Sussex. Um, cupboards, drawers, vanity unit to starboard or shelf to starboard you can see we've got windows all the way along the cabin I think most of if not all of those open up but you can see the light flooding in making it a very nice place to be and as we look forward we can see we've got a lovely great big radiator big flat screen and uh, the gray kind of contemporary feel comes through on the walls or the bulkheads and the floor or the deck i'm, I'm doing everything in both uh, in uh, sea talk and uh, not sea talk and uh, this all carries on around here um onto the port side where we can see we have got a lovely great big vanity unit here that is a genuine vanity unit the seat swings out the uh, the lid comes up for storage and you can see we've got drawers and cupboards there really really lovely massive great big mirror gives you the feeling of even more space and uh, just feels like an absolute delight to be in very nice indeed so let's open up this uh this uh, door here and in here we will find the uh, the master en suite and as you can see the theme just carries through look at this all done lovely the woodwork's nice the, the bulkheads are done out nicely everything's had time and attention and a real taste applied to it we've got it the uh, the after head or the en suite head the uh, the main uh, cabin head here facing to starboard we've got a nice floor in here another feature sink here again this has been selected especially for the boat the old one was taken away and uh, pr i would assess that probably the whole unit's been replaced but i couldn't confirm but we can find that out later lovely tap unit you can see we've got the special lighting as well again great uh, height in this room no problem at all for the tall people i don't think and we have a very lovely cute bijou little bath in fact it's uh, a lot bigger than most boat baths that we see but uh, room for one to sit in there we've got the shower head etc down there we've got the nice hot uh, water radiator there we've got uh, cupboards behind as well etc so really nice place to be and if you want a stand-up shower uh, there are plenty of other, other places to do that on this boat but you could probably get away with it in this compartment too so really really nice and uh, that gives us uh, almost uh, effectively a, a complete after accommodation section in here so you've got this bedroom or cabin with its own uh, uh, ensuite down here or uh, almost completely separate from the accommodation up forwards if uh, if you'd like to have that little bit of separation between you and the kids you and the children or you and the guests but uh, yes just look at this cabin it is a delight smells great lovely and warm doesn't feel like we're on a damp boat or anything like that because we're not we're on this uh, really lovely boat that's had so much work done to her and uh, really feels like a very tasteful and uh, just a I would be very happy on this boat so here we are we're moving forwards to the front of the boat back up to the saloon where we'll finish off by saying that this has been Tim from Boatshire Drop Brokers just taking you for a tour of the interior of this Dynacraft 51. Thanks for watching. It's been lovely to have you along for the ride. Hope you've got a really great feel as to what it's like to be on this boat and what it's like to spend some real quality time afloat. Have a great day.